share their knowledge of how to earn money for their highest award projects. I'm your host, Daisy Dollar. First, we have the blue team, Celia, Ronnie, and Jasmine. Hi, Daisy. Next, we have the green team, Karen, Jessica, and Sean. Hi, Daisy. Girls, I will be asking you questions about earning money for your highest awards in Girl Scouts according to the guidelines from GSUSA and our local council, Girl Scouts Carolina Peaks to Piedmont. Are you ready? Yes, Daisy. I will ask the question and if your team has the answer, ring in. If you're correct, you will earn 50 points for your team. If you're wrong, the other team will have a chance to answer. Here we go. First question. Which Girl Scout awards do these guidelines apply to? Hey, Karen. The highest award guidelines apply to the silver, gold, and bronze award. Absolutely right. 50 points for the green team. Great start. Next question. In order to earn extra money towards your project, what Girl Scout program do you need to participate in each year? OK, Celia. You have to participate in the cookie program and sell at least 48 boxes of cookies. You're right, Celia. You can also sell fall products, candy, nuts, and magazine subscriptions. This is optional. But it's also a great way to earn money towards those award projects. 50 points for the blue. OK, next question. What's the first thing a girl should do if she wants to earn money for her project? Uh-oh, looks like we have a tie ringing in. Blue team, let's hear from you first. Ronnie? I think you should have a pretty good idea of what your project is and how much it's going to cost. That's correct. But what about the green team? Anything to add, Jessica? I think you should also know how much money you already have to put towards your project from your tube account, your own money, and if your family can help. That's right, too. 50 points for each team. Moving right along. Name three ways that you can obtain money for your award project. OK, Sean. You can hold a money earning event like a bake sale or a car wash. You can write a grant to a youth foundation. And you can talk to groups of people about your project for money. Here's a follow-up question for an extra 10 points. Who can ask for the money? A girl can talk about her project to groups of people, but an adult, like a parent or troop leader or project advisor, has to ask for the money. Excellent. 60 points for the green team. There is another way that you can get what you need for a highest awards project instead of earning money. Can you name it? OK, Jasmine. You can ask for donations for supplies and equipment, you know, stuff instead of money. Yes, and for your 10-point follow-up question, can a girl ask for these things herself? Yes, as long as she has an adult with her. Very good. And to clarify, a donation of supplies, equipment, or services is called an in-kind donation. 60 points for the blue team, and it looks like we've got a tie across the board here. Next question. What do you have to do to get permission to have a money-earning activity, write a grant, or ask for donations? Back to you, Karen. Fill out a highest awards money earning application and send it to a council program manager. Exactly. 50 points to green. Karen, can you do that and have a car wash next week? No way. You have to fill out the form 30 days before you decide to do anything. Very good. And for our audience out there, this is what the application looks like. There's a place on the application to list plans for a money earning activity and for requesting in-kind or monetary donations, which would include writing a grant. And of course, the application needs to be signed by a registered adult from your troop. If you're an individually registered girl, you can have a parent or project advisor sign your application. OK, on to the next couple of questions before the lightning round. Once you earn money or get donations, what do you do with it? Celia, you're up again. You have to put it in a Girl Scout bank account. Right you are. You can't put it into a personal account. And if you're not in a troop, the money can go into a service unit account or another troop's account. Final question before the lightning round. What can you absolutely, positively not do as a part of money earning in your highest award project? This might be your chance to pull ahead, Blue. Ronnie? You should never use Girl Scout money for yourself. That's absolutely true, but it's not exactly what I was looking for. Green team? You can't raise money for another organization, but you can use the money you earn to benefit another organization by providing supplies or services as part of your project. 
That's correct, and a steal for the green. So going into the lightning round, the green team has a slight edge over the blue team. Each team has 30 seconds to write down as many answers as possible to their question, and you'll get 10 points for every correct answer. Sean, Jasmine, read your team's questions, please. List money earning projects that Girl Scouts are not allowed to do. List money earning projects that Girl Scouts are allowed to do. All right, ladies, get your papers. Your 30 seconds begin now. Markers up. Okay, green team, you're ahead, so we will check your answers first. Games of chance or raffles, commercial products, home parties, selling on the internet, anything political, door-to-door -door sales of anything other than Girl Scout cookies. Very good. That's six correct answers to bring your final score up to 320 points. Blue team, let's see if you have enough to get caught up. Remember, audience, this next list are the kinds of money earning projects that you can do. Sell Girl Scout cookies, sell fall product, have a car wash, have a bake sale, anything homemade that you can sell like crafts, face painting at a fair, make and sell corsages for a father-daughter dance, gift wrapping service for the holidays, babysitting, a dog wash, host a badge workshop and in charge a fee. Wow, these are all great ideas. And that's 11 correct answers for 110 points, and that brings your final score to 320 as well. Great job, girls. And the real winners are our communities where you will out be out there doing great projects to make the world a better place. And don't forget, you can count the leadership hours that you spend when your money earning projects towards your award project. I have another question, Daisy. As long as you don't try to take my job. Where did the audience go for more information? Girls and adults who want more information about highest award money earning guidelines can read the money and your highest award project pages in either the bronze, silver, or gold award information packets. You can download this package from the award pages on P2P website www.girlscoutsp2p.org. But what if we have more questions? You can also email your questions to girlawards at girlscoutsp2p.org or call 800-672-2148 and ask for a highest awards program manager. Well, that just about wraps it up for today. Remember to view the rest of the videos that have to do with your award and good luck with your projects. Go bronze, go silver, go gold!